Hi everyone, my name is Crystal and I'm back with a new video. Hi guys, so today's video I'm going to be doing is talking about the Dear Class Midday Blue UV Shield. So this is a new sunscreen release from um, Dear Class. It's been out for quite a while and I've actually been testing this out. I'm just going to be sharing to you guys my thoughts and opinions on this particular product so far. And um, yeah, also a quick a little disclaimer, I actually bit my tongue by accident the other day so I actually have an ulcer at the tip of my tongue so if I have very like awkward or weird pronunciations I'm really really sorry but it's just it's literally a biting pain <laughs> I'm so sorry but yeah without further ado let's get into it so like I said this is the midday blue UV shield sunscreen um, on site it retails for $23 and it contains 80 ml of product so this physical sunscreen is hydrating lightweight non-irritant and gentle for any skin type even sensitive skin it is SPF 50 quadruple plus and contains zinc oxide and titanium dioxide to protect your skin against UVA and UVB. By containing goiseline, I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced as, it also helps calm the skin. Natural tone-up effect after application with a semi-matte finish recommended for combination and oily skin. So the highlighted ingredient in this particular product over here is goiseline. So goiseline is the ingredient that actually makes this particular product blue. So I'm just going to show you guys. Let me squeeze it here. Yep, you can see it's a very pastel, baby blue kind of color, which is very really cute, honestly speaking. And um, I believe this is the same ingredient used in their Midnight Blue Cream as well, which Class also carries. I'm really, really glad that there's actually PA Quadruple Plus. Um, um, let me think of how do I break it down for y'all. Um, let me just give you an example. So if, example, your skin takes about like, what, 15 minutes to 10 if you stay out in the sun with no sunscreen or whatsoever. Um, basically, like the more pluses at the back, the longer it will take for your, like, for your skin to tan, basically. So the more pluses at the back, the more protected your skin will be, um, the longer it will take for your skin to tan and stuff like that. Now, when I first heard about this particular product being released, um, I realized in the ingredients list there's actually fragrance and in general like you shouldn't be having fragrance in your skincare um, especially if it's for like sensitive skin so it's a little bit confusing but um, I believe which trend actually has responded to one of the uh, Instagram comments where it was like oh why are you guys having like fragrance and stuff like that in this particular sunscreen they responded with saying that the fragrance is actually I believe allergen free and it's safe to be used for sensitive skin Hello, hello, Editing Crystal here. I just want to pop in and show you guys that Wishtrain is actually very aware of the fact that people are requesting for a fragrance-free version of this. So here are just some, you know, proof and stuff like that. So yeah. So one of the points about this sunscreen is actually it has a natural tone-up effect, which um, I believe a lot of people are quite iffy about it because the original soft every UV essence, which has more of like a, like a natural glowy kind of finish, that one doesn't have any um, white cast or like tone up effect whatsoever because I know there are a lot of um, people of color who actually uses that particular soft every UV essence sunscreen and yeah they actually don't have any like white cast or purple hue on their face or whatsoever so that is a sunscreen that is loved by many so the fact that this had a natural tone up effect many people just like be like mm, kind of thing so yeah anyway now we're going to segue into the demo part. I'm actually going to be showing to you guys how this particular product looks on my bare face. I currently only have like my skincare on. So I'll be applying on half my face first and just going to show it to you guys how it will look. I'm going to be using this amount of product on this side of my face. Um, how my face looks like right now this side with product on this side without any product on and I actually use this amount of product so there's still kind of like a nice glow and hue to it still 
Or at the same time, um, it kind of evens out your skin tone a little bit. So this is what they mean by tone up effect, at least on like my very Asian and very yellow skin tone. So you can tell that it has a nice like choke choke care kind of thing. So yeah. of the Dear Class um, blue sunscreen over here. Um, you can tell there's a very very nice like glow to it still. So this is the side that I just freshly applied and this is the side that I have give it like a few seconds to like dry down since I was applying this side. And um, I can tell that it has dried down and it's a little bit more matte in a sense. Wait, let me pull your back slightly. So let me give you my thoughts and opinions on this particular sunscreen over here. I would recommend this for um, combination in oily skin people. Because even though it states in the um, Wish Trend site that this has a hydrating non-irritant in it, as a person with normal to dry skin, I actually find that this sunscreen is oddly drying for me. This is the first time I ever felt a sunscreen that is drying and it's a weird sensation. Like right now, currently as the sunscreen sits into my face, I actually can feel um, this part over here, like the cheek under eye area here getting kind of um, a little bit dry and stuff like that so yeah i would also recommend this for people who are living in hot and humid countries because listen if you live here in singapore and it's hot and humid here uh, you just feel like you want to just lay in bed and just like ugh, kind of feeling and that's about it it's a really uncomfortable feeling but this particular sunscreen even though i said it was drying right i would say that um it feels really really lightweight and I don't feel any like heavy, um, uncomfortable feeling or whatsoever right now. When I'm out running errands and stuff like that, I actually do wear sunscreen as well. And uh, it feels nice that this is like a matte, not so tacky finish. It's really, really comfortable as well considering the amount of product that I actually applied on my face. So I would say that in terms of lightweight, this is absolutely great. Also, if you're wondering um, how does this product work um, underneath makeup, I will say that because it has such a like grippy texture in a sense, because now like after applying the sunscreen, I have this like very like grippy-ish texture on my hand right now. Um, it actually grips product quite well in a sense. I find that when I apply like any base makeup on top of it, like the concealer or foundation will actually um, sit really nicely on my skin as well. Like it will grip onto it. But I feel like you, I would just have to like go in with more product because it's like gripping onto like this one spot. So I have to like use more product and just, you know, use my makeup and stuff like that. So overall, I think it's fine. My makeup doesn't look like wanky or fussy kind of thing. No, I don't. But just probably will have to go in with like a little bit more product. Overall, I find that there's still a very nice like healthy glow to my face. But I can really feel the dryness sinking into my my cheeks over here and it's a little bit a tad bit uncomfortable for me not gonna lie and even if i were to use like lesser product i don't want to use lesser product but then my face is not really fully protected to its full potential then what's the point of me using a sunscreen in the first place i'm like you know better off using another sunscreen so in general i would say that this particular sunscreen is a uh, kind of thing for me i'm actually really glad that i managed to try this out because this is actually my first physical sunscreen i usually use um chemical sunscreens and um yeah it was a i would say an interesting experience using this overall i feel my experiences with this particular sunscreen i think it could be better but um honestly it, it could have gone a lot worse as well um especially for a person with normal to dry skin let me just sum it up and say that i would recommend this for early to combination skin uh, if you have dry skin, normal skin, please go and check out the Soft Air UV Essence, that one. That sunscreen is great, that sunscreen is awesome. It's like universally loved by a lot of people. I think that is a fantastic sunscreen, you should check it out. No white cast, no weird purple hues on your face either. Please go check that one out, it's awesome. And it's definitely way much more hydrating as compared to this Midday Blue UV Shield sunscreen. 
So yeah, that's all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and useful. If you have any questions or other thoughts you would like to share with me, please let me know in the comments box down below. And yeah, that's all for today's video. Thank you guys so much once again, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Thank you.